Thus in a sense if you are all, all of us are nothing but that divine, how is it that we find in this world, some are crooked, some are cheating, some are uh, wicked, some are pure, some are noble, how is it that these differences are? And all of them, because of life. If the Lord is in our heart, why can't he always send me by the right path and not allow me to walk the wrong path? So if I am doing some criminal act, is it not by the service, by the help of the Lord? So the Lord helps me to do criminal things and then punish me. This is very unjust. Krishna says the truth. As you invoke me, I shall help you. To me it is immaterial. Whether you are invoking the dynamism of life to persecute others and bring sorrows to the community, you are welcome. If you are invoking it for your own benefit and blessing, welcome. Is it not? What about the gas in your car? If the gas in your car is determining where you should go, if the gas is not there, will the car ever move? Thereby can you say that the accident was caused by the petrol and not me? The gas is there. As you invoke, stepping on the accelerator, it will generate all the horsepower of the engine. It is your responsibility to see that the front wheel is on the road. Same thing here. Without the touch of life, a sinner cannot do the sin. A saint cannot remain saintly. Both of them must be alive. But it is not the life in you <coughs> that is determining the ugliness or the beauty of your life. It is you, the driver in you, the PFT in you, the performance of the machine or the engine, the body, mind and intellect. As you invoke me, in whatever fashion they invoke me, tam tadeva bhajamya, I serve them in the same way. 